Okay, kids, we are back. So, Ben, you were just talking about culture. Yeah. Yeah, the you know, definition of culture, I, I don't, I, there's probably different definitions, right? Like, you have a culture of, you know, whether you're talking about like societal groups and there's a historical definition of culture, but in the sense I'm using it, the word, it's, I'm talking about people relating to each other um, in search of a goal. Well, that's interesting. That's so interesting. Our, our theme this past year was it's not just the bricks, it's the mortar. Yeah. And uh, the, what we say is the mortar is the culture. Yeah. The bricks are the people, the mortar is the culture, the way they, they interact with each other. So these kids have heard that stuff talked about before and uh, yeah. have lived it out, actually. Um, now, Ben, I want to ask you, because uh, you and I first got to know each other when you were the age of these kids. What do you remember when you were a kid about coming to camp in the summer? And the reason I ask that is our goal at Cypress Woods is to make every day like a day at Marauder Soccer Camp. That's kind of our, yeah. our guiding yeah. goal. What do you remember about about the camp now, I'll give you a pre-camp okay pre-camp and, and maybe I've told you this, this story before but maybe not you I never played on a team that you coached but I played on a team that trained next to one that you coached okay and and I didn't even know who you were you know I, and later I put it together that after going to camp that oh that was coach that was coach Jim he was coaching that team but watching your team train, this would have been probably your like 86, 87 girls at, at per year. Okay. Would have, would have been, I, that practice is better. I want to go over there. That's more serious. That's has more purpose, you know? And so like those were my, my earliest memories of kind of getting introduced to you and things that you were doing, um, even, even pre camp. And that's probably a reason. That's probably why we ended up going to camp. That's cool. That's cool. Um, but then camp, what what kept you going back to camp? Like, I mean, it was the teams, you know, the the, the teams, who was going to be your coach, um, what was going to be your name, like what was going to be the story of your team for the week. Uh, even, even in one week, had the, the teams had the story of a whole season, you know, coming together, the – there's a preseason phase, there's the season phase, there's a postseason phase, and the, the, the whole life cycle of a team is is in one week. And, and looking back at it now, you can pull out more of these things from it than, than you know at the time as a, as a camper. You're just kind of so immersed in it. You're, you're not sure exactly what's happening, but you know that it's good. Um, so for me, I would say the teams. I would say then training. I, I like training and, and there was always like a nervousness of training and it was, and, and the training structures varied year to year and probably def and as a staff member, you know, it, it depended based on camp to camp and, and the overall level in the camp. But as a, as a young player who, you know, was on the, the higher end of the, the skill level, level of the players in the camp, you wanted to be with the other better players. At, at, at least for me, you know, and, and so like, okay, we're, am I going to be with this training group or that, tra or what am I going to get out of it from, from a training perspective? That was always something real exciting. And then the, the third thing is everything that happened in, in the CASA, <laughs> you know, <laughs> in the CASA just, that, that's, that's the cake right there. You know, what's Rob doing? What's Neil doing? Um, what's, what's coach doing? What's Dan Chapel doing? You know, the, the, the Casa the, the Casa just brought to life. The the Casa was just life, you know? <laughs> you really had your own life in the Casa. You were uh, a person of agency. You had to make economic decisions, social decisions, um, professional decisions, you know, all of this and, and I don't even know if that was all by design at the time. <laughs> probably not. But, but but that's what it was, you know. Um, and you could probably write write so many so many books about it. You know, I'd I'd love if we had videos of just like Casa time. 
Yeah, well, that's uh, that things would... that happen. You know, that'd be gold. But how did we? How did we not do that? That's. I... that's... <laughs> Oh man! So, kids, the casa is uh, the camp snack bar, and so what really Ben is referring to is free time. Uh, ben, one of the big things at Cypress Woods is free time. Free time okay. is like what we work for. It's yep. what it's it's everything, and yep. uh, and it could be for kids to go play tetherball, for kids to get up a game, or for kids to just sit around and talk. For it's that time what that's yours. Yep. That you're talking about this right now. Yep. So the kids, when I'm gonna, what I'm gonna say to you kids is, all the stuff Ben was saying was just think of it like us being at free time at PE class. That's what he's talking about. What free time is like, and uh, we work for free time. We work hard for it. And uh, so I, I want to tell you kids that Ben, um, we we ended up bringing Ben in to work for the camp, and then Ben did something for the camp that we're going to do next year in PE class. And I'm going to, in a separate clip, I'm going to talk to Ben about that and uh, we'll, we'll uh, see if we can develop that a little bit. But Ben, I wanted to ask you now, uh, what do you think PE should be in schools in 2020? You've got a daughter coming up. What do you hope she gets out of her PE experience? I'd say two, two things. One, uh, physical activity, you know, um, physical activity of being outside and, and moving and, and what, whatever that entails. You know, when I was in school, we had recess and PE. You guys, you, there's no recess, right? We have recess too, actually. Okay, you have recess. Yes. Okay. But that's not common. Right, right. So re recess is less common now in, in schools. So I'd say one, physical activity, and two, you know, a, a chance to experience culture making you know and being part of a team and and being part of that process if that you know there's a lot of really good teachers you know and there's a lot of teachers who have that in their specific classrooms and i i know a lot of teachers who have that in their specific classrooms but sometimes that's that's missing and it's more about just what's in the book and you know i think pe can be an area where okay, we're really teaching kids how to make positive teams. Yes, we, we, really, we really aim for that ourselves. Uh, ben, you are talking to some future teachers and some future coaches. Um, what, uh, what advice do you have for them? Yeah, I, grasp onto this concept of what it means to create a positive culture, how you do it, what are the you'd probably say, what's the mortar of creating a positive culture, mm -hmm. not the bricks? So anyone can have a song. That's a brick. Mm -hmm. What's the mortar around the song? Right? The dance is a brick. What's the mortar or, around the dance? It's, it's how you're interacting with each other. And so that's going to look a little bit different in every environment. Right? That's, that's just the truth. So as you start to think about that, just keep those thoughts with you as you're moving into any area how important as a coach at the top level of soccer in america do you and your counterparts what value do you place on this on this idea of building a culture within your team how important is that with for myself and the people that i work with yes it is as equally as important to anything else that we're doing with the group so it's as equally as important as recruiting, as coaching the team, as the paperwork we have to do, as as you know the the top three or four things we have to do. It's it's as equally important to them. So that's good. So uh, so we are practicing that here at elementary school level, practicing uh, trying to get a good culture. And your this chat with you is a part of it. So yep. now the kids have gotten input from uh, from somebody that's coaching at the highest athletic level. You're talking to some athletes right now too, which is cool. But uh, I know that you, uh, first of all, I know you just because I know you, and also as a father of a young daughter, um, you played no favorites when you were coaching at Marauder Soccer Camp. You, everybody's important. Everybody's an athlete in their own right. 
and uh, and that's how we look at it. We look at uh, there's a place for everybody, there's a role for everybody. I know you feel that way, uh, and that, and that carries through, doesn't it, all the way to the top? Yep. Well, that's great. Well, Ben, thank you so much for being with us today, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off now, and uh, that's what we got. Sounds good, Coach. Have a good one. You too.